Uh, in this video, I want to show you guys something pretty cool I've been playing with uh, augmented reality uh, plugin for a showcase. And so I've got my Technicon car here, a little 3D model. And uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, well, I've already done it pretty much, but I brought in a plane, uh, used this augmented reality uh, plugin right here, and brought in a, so I can create a marker, um, augmented reality marker for this uh, car to be manipulated when I have a augmented reality uh, marker printed out and laid out from a piece of cardboard or on your floor, your wall, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anything that the uh, webcam or camera sees uh, and it's represented on the model is going to manipulate your model as long as it sits above it. Uh, so, just to show you the marker, I've got a marker. Doesn't this QVC or what are those things called? It doesn't matter. Uh, it could be a picture of your dog or whatever. Just it has to be printed out on a printer, the same uh, picture that you're going to use in your model to manipulate it. Also has to be an um, infinite uh, environment background. So I'm just going to turn this off for the sake of it. Go in here to my AR mode and click on Enabled, which basically turns on my webcam. And so this is what, uh, this would be one marker if I use this picture in my, uh, um, in my model file, uh, you would, you know, this would be augmenting my, my component, but in my model. So I flip this over and wham, magic. There is my, now my, my piece of paper is kind of coming up, so it's going to kind of mess up a little bit, but as you can see, I can manipulate the piece of cardboard. It has the same image printed on it. Um, and take a look at my car. Zoom in here. Check it out. You know, cool thing about using this with Showcase is if you have different uh, alternatives, you can also turn those on as well as any of the other uh, controls that you would normally, in, including ray tracing, but I don't advise it because, uh, of course, with ray tracing, you have to hold the piece of cardboard completely still and even then it uh, does not fully res up so so if I wanted to go in here just turn on my you know let's just say I want to um, we're going to change the grill to grill 2 yeah we'll go with uh, we'll go with grill 2 for some crazy look and maybe we want to go to the GT uh, paint scheme you know, and with GT paint scheme, might as well go wild with the sport wheels on here. Look, piece of paper is nice enough here. Let me uh, flip this back open. There we go. It's pretty cruel, you know, for what it is. Uh, it's a good collaboration tool. Uh, it's a blue and the classic wheels. That's kind of a clean look. I like that. And of course, I can go back into here and turn off my alternatives and go get out of AR mode, get back into the software, and then say if this was just acting too small on my piece of cardboard, I can just scale it back up, drag him up a little bit. Um, And now when I go back into my um, augmented reality mode, you'll see that the model is actually larger on here. And depending on what you're trying to do, maybe easier for you to handle. You see it's much larger now. And uh, so when you want to look close at something, or, uh, it's easier to do. Um, maybe you want to change with the visual style so we can type V for your shortcut and uh, use like tune <laughs> for kind of a cool little look be cool so that's augmented reality